Okay, this is part three of um, the making a castle tutorial. This is the castle we're making. Uh, so let's go on and create this door here. Uh, so for that, let's begin by, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It should be easy. Let's add a plane. Rot where is it? So here, rotate it 90 degrees to face us. And uh, then need to make it, scale it so that it's, it fits. Uh, this gap here Then we can scale it up then apply the scale and rotation then we need to add a loop there select this other side uh, You know what before we do that because I wanted to add up to apply a mirror modifier, but before we do that we can uh, First select this loop ctrl B to bevel it so the entrance is around uh, this size we can add a loop here and to cut this off, we just select this and then drag up. We can select this here, delete that so that we are remaining with that. And uh, we need to make this curved. So we select the bevel, the center uh, loop and then bevel it. We can add more loops to make it more curved. Uh, so to make, if you want it to, more, to be more curved, just move this even up, more up, then control B. Uh, also make sure you have applied here uh, the scale and rotation then control B You can also come in here and uh, change the profile a bit if you want to To what you to what you think works best I can Yeah, something like that Now let's let's see Okay, so I think we need to first fill in this face of because this is uh, the outside of the walls and I think we need to cut to make a cut around here and uh, here also make sure that uh, these are at the same level in the z-axis Well, we can mark these in the center like this. It all comes down to how detailed you want to be. I don't think I would need these, so I'll just mark them like that. Then we can select this here, then extrude that forward so that we have that now we can select this here insert can select this bottom uh, face make sure that uh, it's straight down there the, then we need to make this more curved If you want, you can even add more loops. So I'll just add a cut here. Then select everything this side and delete that. Then also make sure that uh, this here is straight. Then we can add a mirror modifier. So we can now add a few loops here. To make this more curved, let's see where else. Yeah, so just make a cut directly like that. If you double tap G on your keyboard, uh, the vertex you have selected will be moved on along uh, the v any of the edges it's attached to. Uh, so something like that. Uh, 
Yeah. So then we can extrude this and uh, delete this middle face. And uh, this down one. So make sure you turn clipping on and uh, make sure these middle vertices, there is no gap between there's no gap in, uh, in the middle here and also add a loop here select select this edge here and uh, we can select this here extrude out like that just a bit not too much and there may be another loop up there. Straighten that up. And then also that we can extrude a bit like that. I uh, remember we have this, where is it? Where? Okay, we have this here. Uh, we just make a, an instance of that out the scale it down and uh, we can use it on this wall as well. Just need to reduce the count number. So let's see, yeah, to around, maybe scale it up a bit, something. And we have our door. Yes, if you want to add more details, we can uh, add maybe we can uh, maybe select these faces here. Hit I to insert. And I select this loop here. Delete that face. I select this loop, and then make sure you're not selecting this down loop as well. And uh, then move them closer. Might they, so that they are merged in the middle. You can uh, select. If you hit W on the keyboard, on your keyboard, you can hide these uh, navigation, uh, these gizmo uh, icons uh, for a minute because sometimes they get in the way of selecting things. And uh, that's a, a quick tip on how to hide that for a, for a second. So we can select this here, maybe extrude that. see can add some bit of decorations there yeah most of the details will be added using using textures so yeah we have added our entrance maybe in the next video we'll look at how to create the door itself uh, or maybe we'll just continue with this inside uh, part here so thank you